the apparent scandal swirling around Governor Andrew Cuomo has now shifted to how any investigation will actually play out. Good evening, I'm Claudine Ewing. With now two sexual harassment allegations against the governor, how will that actually take place? Here's Channel 2's Ron Plants with the latest. On this day, after a second female former aide of Governor Cuomo came forward to raise allegations of sexual harassment, we're seeing some back and forth between the governor's office and the state attorney general and lawmakers. First, the governor's office is just calling for an independent or thorough review of the claims made against the governor, as they term it, with an independent lawyer chosen by the attorney general and the chief justice of the Court of Appeals. But this afternoon, the attorney general putting out this statement to clarify, I do not accept the governor's proposal. The state's executive law clearly gives my office the authority to investigate this matter once the governor provides a referral. While I have deep respect for the chief judge, I am the duly elected attorney general, and it is my responsibility to carry out this task per executive law. The governor must provide this referral so an independent investigation with subpoena power can be conducted. We also got some comments from some local lawmakers. What the governor has called for is not good enough. Uh, we need an independent investigation, whether that's the attorney general or uh, members of JCOP who are not appointed by the governor, uh, where he has no say in the final outcome of this investigation in any capacity. It has to be 100% independent. It has to be uh, an investigation that the public can trust. That person, whether it's the attorney general who does have investigatory power, um, or the person that, you know, similar to the Robert Mueller situation, would have subpoena authority. Um, that person would be able to, you know, question witnesses under oath. And that would help us determine who's really telling the truth and what really happened. And that's what we really need. Finally, Republican Senate Minority Leader Robert Ort stating the governor has repeatedly broken the public's trust. He has demonstrated toxic leadership qualities and he is irreparably compromised in his dealings with his co-equal partners in the legislature. For these reasons, I believe Governor Cuomo must resign. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.